All right, hello. Today we're going to go over the mid, we're going to continue with mid chapter checkpoint. Our first part is the vocabulary section, and we're going to be looking at pints, pounds, and yard. Okay, well, pints are liquid volume, pounds are weight, and yards are distance. Okay, so a blank is a customary unit used to measure weight. It's a pound. The cup and the blank are both customary units for measuring liquid volume, pint. All right. Complete the sentence, right? More or less. A cat weighs blank than one ounce. Okay, so remember our, our kind of our benchmark for an ounce was five pencils. Cat's going to weigh more than five pencils. So, more. more than one ounce. Serena's shoe is blank than one yard long. Well, our benchmark for one yard was a baseball bat. That would be a really big shoe if her shoe was as long as a baseball bat. I'm going to say less. Five feet is how many inches? Well, we should know that one foot is 12 inches. So five feet is five times 12 inches. 12 times five. Five times two is 10. Regroup as one, one ten and zero ones. Five times one ten is five plus one regrouped is six. So 60 inches. Four tons. Well, we know one ton is 2,000 pounds. So four tons would be four times 2,000. Okay, that's, that's a simple multiplication problem. Basic math fact is four times two, so 8,000. Four cups equals how many pints? Well, we know one pint equals two cups. So how many pints would equal four cups? Well, two pints. Two pints equals two times two cups. Two pints equals four cups. So two cups is, uh, four cups is two pints. Mrs. Burns' class went raspberry picking. The data show the weights of the cartons of raspberries the students picked. Okay. Um, so let's put these in order. So our greatest number, our smallest number, I'm sorry, is one fourth. One, two, three, one fourth. Two fourths, one, two, three fourths, one, two, three, three fourths, and there's one four fourths. So two, four, two, four, six, eight, nine. Two, six, eight, nine. Yep. Okay, so put the numbers for fractions in our tally ch chart. One fourth. Two-fourths, three-fourths, four-fourths. How many one-fourths? One, two, three. How many two-fourths? Two. Three-fourths, three. Four-fourths, three. Four one. Three, six, eight, nine. Okay. Now, what's the title of our line plot? Now, that's the same thing as the frequency table. I'm sorry, the, um, the data points where it's listed weight of cartons of raspberries. Picked. And those are in pounds. 
Okay, our smallest unit is one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths is the largest. Okay, so each X in our line plot is going to represent a carton, the number of cartons that had that weight. So one fourth, three students picked one fourth pounds of raspberries. Two fourths, two students. Three fourths, three students. Four fourths, one student. Three, six, eight, and I still have nine X's. Okay, what is the difference between the heaviest carton and the lightest carton? Four fourths, take away one fourth, three fourths pound. How many pounds of raspberries did Mrs. Burns class pick in all? Okay, well, this is just going to be an addition problem, and we're going to add up all the numbers we have. So we have one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus two fourths plus two fourths plus three three fourths plus one four fourths for a total of three five seven ten thirteen sixteen twenty. 20 divided by 4, 5. There's no remainder, so 5 pounds of raspberries. Okay. The sum of those fractions is 20 fourths. 20 divided by 4 is 5, so 5 whole pounds. Number 11. A jug contains 2 gallons of water. How many quarts? Of water does the jug contain? Okay, for one gallon. How many quarts were on Gallon Man? One, two, three, four. Four quarts in one gallon. So two gallons would be two times four quarts. Two gallons equals eight quarts. Serena bought four pounds of dough to make pizzas. The recipe gives the amount of dough needed for a pizza in ounces. How many ounces of dough did she buy? Okay, four pounds. We're going to change it to ounces. I forgot to circle that in, in the previous problem, sorry. All right, and our question is how many ounces of dough did she buy? All right, so. We know that one pound is 16 ounces. Okay, we need to know our basic conversions. One pound is 16 ounces. So four pounds would be four times 16 ounces. Well, what is four times 16? Four times six is 24. Regroup that as two tens and four ones. 4 times 110 is 4, plus 2 regroup 10s is 6. So 64 ounces. All right, Vaughn threw the shot put 9 yards at a track meet. The official used the tape measure to measure the distance in feet. How many feet did he throw the shot put? 9 yards. Measured in feet. All right, so one yard is three feet. Nine yards equals nine sets of three feet. Nine yards equals 27 feet. And number 14. The watering can that Carlos uses in his vegetable garden holds five of a certain unit of liquid volume. When full, how much water is in the watering can? Well, this sort of looks about the size of, it's a little bigger, but about the size of a gallon 
a carton of milk. And there's four quarts in a gallon. So that must be five quarts. It wouldn't be five cups. Five pints? No. Five quarts, because that would be slightly bigger than a gallon. Five quarts. All right. So that's it for the mid-chapter checkpoint. Our next session together, we will talk about metric units of length. So until then, may the numbers always be in your favor.